Alright, this is just going to be a demonstration of a very basic motor control program using an Arduino. We will work our way into more complex ones later on. Again, I have a solid state DC relay that's in the VCC side of this H-bridge circuit which controls this motor. It's basically a matter of on and off but with a clincher. I can hold the button down, the LED lights up, motor does not come on. Same thing with the other side. Only when I press both together and enable the third LED, which turned on the solid state relay, which enabled power to the H-bridge circuit, and the motor only runs when I'm pressing the motor when I'm pressing the switch otherwise it's off now if I want to disable the power to the switch again press both switches together and it's off and until I re-enable power the motor will not activate Here's a schematic of the circuit. This just represents a generic H-bridge and its motor. Up here is my solid state relay. It's connected to digital pin 11. A, a high on digital pin 11 will turn on the solid state relay, which will turn on the plus 12 VCC to the H-bridge. And the direction of the H-bridge is dependent on digital pins 9 and 10, which I believe I labeled LED1 and LED2. Digital pin 3 was LED3. And here's my two input switches. Very quickly, I have defined switch 1 and switch 2 as digital pin 2 and 3, respectively. Then we have LED1 through 3 as digital pins 9 through 11 respectively. I've defined the word on as 1 or high and I've defined the word off as 0 or low. I also defined an 8-bit value temp. This setup is straightforward. LED 1, 2, and 3 are outputs switches 1 and 2 are inputs and I also use the internal pull-up resistors for switch 1 and switch 2. Not much more to say here. As you've seen in other videos I wrote two subroutines. One of them is called S1 for switch 1 that returns a binary 1 if a switch is pressed else it returns a binary 0 if the switch is open. Both routines do exactly the same thing. The first one is for switch one. The second one is for switch two. You've seen this elsewhere. There's not much more to go into with this. In loop, let's look at our main program, which is testing switch S1 and S2 combinations. The first if statement is going to check to see if S1 is pressed. If it is, it will return a high. And if S2 is not pressed, it will return a low, but it's not it. So the condition I wanted was a high and a high, and the if statement is true. Thus, we're going to move down here and delay 200 milliseconds. I am going to make a check once again to make absolutely sure that S2 is not pressed. And of course if it's not pressed it returns a low. The empty braces do nothing is skipped and LED1 is turned on and thus the motor will go in whatever direction the H bridge set it for. If this, of course, fails up here. It's just going to keep the LED one off. Our second if statement does the very same thing. I want S2 pressed 
an S1 open, it will then check, it'll delay 200 milliseconds, then it'll check S1 once again, of course, if it's open, it will fail, it will do the else statement and turn LED1 on, which turns on the motor with the H bridge in the opposite direction. If the original if statement up here fails, say S2 is um, open and returning a zero or any combination, if this fails up here, then the LED2 is turned off. Finally, we come to our third if statement, and this if statement is checking to make sure switch 1 and switch 2 are pressed together. If they are, it's going to read the state on LED pin 3. On LED 3, it'll read the state with a digital read, not the state, and store it in temp. If the LED was already on, it will return a 1, which is knotted to a 0. The 0 is stored in temp, and then we're going to write temp right back to LED 3, turning off the uh, turning off LED 3. If, for instance, the LED was off and it's turned uh, and it returns a zero from digital read, that is not it to a one stored in temp. And digital write stores that one right back in the latch and cuts on LED 3. This while loop here. It's using a logical OR. It's if either S1 or S2 is still pressed, if I still have my fingers on either one, it's going to idle here and do nothing until, it's, until both are completely released. And then both of them will turn. It'll be false or false, and, and it'll jump out of the while loop and go on. So, switch one up here. So uh, you press the switch, runs through this routine, turns LED1 on. Uh, the motor runs in one direction. If you release the switch, as it keeps sweeping through loop, it'll turn it right back off. Same thing, S2, press it. The H bridge is enabled for the opposite direction. And when you release S2, LED2 goes off, and the H-bridge should stop moving the motor. Neither uh, will work unless I have the power enabled through the solid-state relay, and that requires pressing S1 and S2 together. Press them one time, you enable power, press them together again, it cuts off the power. Anyway, I hope this was some use to you, give you a few ideas on programming, give it a try, see what you think, and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.